hi guys this is tech howdy i welcome you to this video tutorial on installing oracle database on a docker container on mac operating system so the first thing that you want to do is go and open your favorite browser on your mac operating system in your browser now you are going to type in docker for mac and then hit enter just click on the first link install docker for mac and then now you will see an option for stable and edge download you can go ahead and download stable or edge i have downloaded edge and install docker edge so once you download click the button you will download the dmg file double click and run the dmg installer which will install docker for you on your mac if you go to your launch pad and then when you see it's installed you'll see an icon like this once docker is installed the next step you want to do is go ahead and install kitematic kitematic is basically a gui application that we can use to manage our docker instances you will find it in one of the options on docker icon and i feel kitematic is much easier to use than the terminal so go ahead click on kitematic click on the option here and then you will be redirected to a page to download kitematic the zip file will be downloaded once it's downloaded double click and open the zip file and then go ahead and just double click and run kitematic you don't need to install it it's an application on its own when you click it will just run the best thing to do is just drag kitematic onto your applications folder in this way it will always be in your applications rather than in your downloads folder and once you drag it you should see it in your applications so now in kitematic you will see a welcome screen like this you can skip for now as you don't need to enter your user id or password and if you see you'll see a section for containers it's empty because we have not yet created any container well now what we are going to do is we will go ahead and first create our container and then once our container is created we will install oracle database on it and you will see that container under this container section so now guys let's go ahead and install oracle database so unfortunately we don't have any image available for oracle 18c so if i search oracle 18c and i don't find any images here so that i can install it in my container also if i go to docker hub and search for oracle 18c i don't have any images available as of now only thing that's available is oracle database 12c so in that case what we want to do is we want to go to oracle's database oracle database's official website and download the rpm for 18c and then build an image out of this rpm so to do that first thing you're going to do is you're going to accept the license agreement the links for downloading these applications we will provide them in the video description so that you don't have to google of them so that you can just click on them and you will be taken to the appropriate pages now so you accept the license agreement and then you will see a download link for linux so that's what we are going to do we're going to download this rpm package so let's click on download and once again you have to enter your username and password to download this so please note it's free to create a user id at free to create a membership at uh, oracle's website so i'm going to log in so once i click sign in it's going to go ahead and download the application the rpm package for me and it's going to take about nine to ten minutes depending on the speed of your internet so once it is done i'll continue this video so guys the database rpm for 18c has been downloaded and now what we are going to do is we are going to build 
an image for our docker out of this rpm so let's go ahead and do that so the next step that you want to do is go to your app store and download xcode if you haven't downloaded and installed xcode if you have already installed xcode you don't have to download and install it again so go ahead and download xcode and install it and once xcode is downloaded and installed we'll go ahead and perform the next step of our installation so once you have completed downloading xcode you can close your app store and then open your terminal now since we don't have any images currently available for ATNC Express Edition Oracle database, we don't have the files required to build the images. But the community provides us with a bunch of information in order to create an image. One of the members, Fizzy Brain, has created a, the required files needed to build the image. So what we want to do is go ahead and we can clone this repo using the clone repo command but in my case I'm just going to download it so I'm just going to download the zip version of this repo and once I have it I'm going to click on it and open it in my downloads folder so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and rename your application folder that's the docker folder to docker-oracle.exe you can name it whatever you like but I have named it as docker oracle XE. and then uh, what I want to do is copy my rpm package and then go to the files folder in docker oracle XE and then paste the rpm package in my files folder so it will take about few seconds to copy the entire RPM package to the files. Once it is done, we will go ahead and follow the next step. So the files have been copied to our files folder. The next step that you want to do is go ahead and open your terminal window. And then you want to cd into your docker-oracle-xd folder. So let's cd into our docker oracle folder I'm just going to drag and drop the folder and then I'm going to hit enter now the next thing that I want to do is build the docker image and to build the docker image we are going to type in the following command which is docker build dash oracle dash xc and 18c make sure you end the command with a dot otherwise the command won't work and you will get an error So once the process has been completed to create the image, you should see something like this on your terminal where it says at the end that successfully built with some number here and successfully tagged your Oracle XC18C build. So once you see this, uh, that means the process has completed successfully. And now the next step is to go ahead and run our container and to do that first thing that we are going to do is click the type in clear in this terminal so we have a clean terminal and now the next step is to create a container network we will use this network in order to connect with other containers this step is completely optional you don't have to create a network if you don't need one but i'm going to create a network by using the following command the last option here is the name of your network you can name it anything that you wish to i'm going to name it as oracle underscore network xe and then hit enter i'm getting this error because my network already exists i already created a network with that name 
so if you wish to you can go ahead and use the same name or i'll just create a new network call it focal 18 c network and then hit enter and now i have a network created with the name oracle underscore network 18c once again you can name it anything you like and now let me just clear this terminal now you're going to type in the following command now let's talk about the option the first option is mapping port 32118 on your computer to the listener port for oracle database which is 1521 on the container the second option here is mapping port 35518 on your computer to port 5500 to access enterprise manager express via the browser the third option here is to set the password for sys system and pluggable database admin if you leave it blank default is auto generated the next option here is to name your container which is completely optional but if you name it it is easy to access your container by its name so i'll recommend you to do this the next option is to set a volume to store all your data files in case your container is deleted you can rebuild your container using these files the next option is the network option this is completely optional if you created a network then add this option so that your containers are on the same network and the final option is the database image we created in the previous step for Oracle Database 18C Express Edition. The next thing that you want to do is go ahead and run Kitematic. If you have Kitematic already running, I recommend you to stop it and then restart Kitematic. Please note once the terminal command is uh, entered, now you will see that the database files are being created. You can open your Kitematic and you will see that under the container section you will have oracle and under the container logs you will see the process of the files and the database files being created for docker also you can access the folder via clicking on this volume option here and you will be able to access your containers folder and as you see it is creating the uh, required files writing the required files onto the containers uh, folder which is oracle xc that we created so it takes up to 10 to 15 minutes to complete this process so be patient till the time all the files are com copied completely so our database creation has successfully completed and we have created our database now we will go ahead and i will test our database using sql developer application on oracle's website and go and download the sql developer application make sure you are signed in in order to download any application on oracle oracle's website once again it is free to create your account at oracle so just click download and here you would need to accept the license agreement i have already accepted it so now i'm going to go ahead and download sql developer for mac os but make sure that before we download we have jdk installed so if it is not installed go ahead download jdk and install it so i'm going to do that so i'm going to accept the license agreement and then i'm going to install jdk for mac so that's the dmg file so i'm going to click on it also i go back and i'm also going to download the dmg file for sql developer so let's do that as well so i have to accept the license agreement and then i'm going to click download so i have my jdk and my sql developer files downloaded so let's open my download folder so i have jdk so what i'm going to do is double click and install it If you want to send automated usage to Oracle, you can check off this option and I don't want to so I'm just going to click OK. And now I have my Oracle SQL developer up and running and now through this application we will connect to our Oracle Database 18C Express Edition which is installed on our Docker container. So now let's go ahead and connect to our database. 
So for the connection name, you can give it an any connection name. I'm just going to name it as Oracle 18C. For the username, I'm going to log in as sys. For the password, I use the password Oracle 18 and I create it when I run the script. And now I'm going to choose the role as system DBA and then I am going to use the host name as localhost. The port would be the port number which is 32118 because that's the port we are mapping our port for the listener that is 1521 and then for the service name or we can use it as XE so XE is the service ID the SID so let's go here and we have all this information over here in case if you want to know you can just go to settings of your container and you will find all the information over here also for the host names and port you can find the information here for the volumes for your network everything is very easy to access from this application which is kitematic that's one of the reason why i like to use it and you can see your sid is xe so that's it and now let's test and it is success so we are able to test it's a success let's connect and now we are connected to our Oracle Database 18C Express Edition using Docker container. For some people who want to use the SQL CLI, the command line interface, uh, SQL CL. So what we can do is we can go back to Kitematic and then go to your container. And you can just click on this option which is exec. And you can run the following command. And now you will have your SQL CLI and then you can connect as system DB if you want to change the passwords for your system add users you can perform all the SQL operations over here from the CLI itself you don't need to separately install C, uh, the SQL CL, CLI uh, you have it installed for you all you need to do is execute the uh, shell and then use this command so all these commands will be available in the video description in case if you want to use them and so that should be it go ahead play around with it create databases and try to run some queries connect to your uh, container using this SQL developer application you can also use the command line interface so I hope you like this video tutorial in case if you wish to install SQM Microsoft SQL Server on Docker container. I also have a video for that and the link for that also will be provided in the description of this video. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Tech Howdy. Thank you for watching guys. Have a good day.